Now let's have a look at sheet layouts. If you're working on your own drawings, I highly recommend building some of these and then saving that as a template file. In my case, I often work with drawings which are given to me, so I need to build these each time. First thing I'm going to do is bring in some title blocks that I've already made. So Command R, just open that resource manager, browse them down to my favourites. And there's a title block I use quite a lot, so I'm going to import that. So that folder hierarchy and click OK. So I've now got that as part of my current drawing. Let's go and make a sheet layout. Let's go up to our navigation and then select sheet layouts. Third tab across, right click and select new. I call this next plan A0 and make sure edit properties after creation is ticked. OK, this dialog comes up and I'm going to go into the page setup. Now on this I'm going to choose one size unavailable and print a setup and I'm going to select ISO A0. This is because I don't know what kind of printer this is going to be printed on. In fact I'll probably export a PDF and then send that off to be printed. Click OK out of that, OK out of that. Now we have that sheet layout there. Go onto that. Command 4 to zoom to the page, and let's add a border onto that. So I'm going to make sure I'm in my sheet layout class, which I've made, and I'm going to come down to this toolset detailing uh, toolset here, and you've got a title block tool there. Click and add that, drag out, hold down shift, click again, and that inserts that X to release the cursor. So, let's go across to our object info palette and go into the title block border settings. Here at the top, we can use the style. And we can select that up. So a few things here. I'm going to get rid of these vertical and horizontal zones. Leave the rest as it is. Going to leave no crop marks there. And I'm going to click OK. And the last thing I'm going to do, as you see I've got this little thin outline which I don't really want, so I'm going to select that up. And just take the pen tool to none. And there's my title block there. I'm going to edit that and we'll just go select it back into title block settings. And then we have two main tabs here are the project data and the sheet data. Project data runs across all title blocks. Sheet data will be only on this one for this sheet layout. So now that we've got that, let's go back to our document, Command 6 to zoom all. And let's make ourselves a viewport. A viewport is how we see information on the sheet layout. So I'm going to drag a box and draw a box over what we want to see. So you can click the rectangle tool or shortcut is 4 at once, pull the mouse out, click again. And then with that selected up to view, create viewport. So I'm going to name this VP Alex Plan. And I want that to be on that sheet layer we've just made. Set the scale up here. And click OK. Run four, so we'll zoom that to the page. And there's our viewport. That viewport we can drag around. We can use the rotate tool if we'd like to rotate the axes it's on. When it's selected in the object info palette, we can set the scale. Or 
or something I'll quite commonly do if I'm not worried about the scale but I want it to fit within my border. I use modify scale objects in symmetric by distance. Exact first distance measure, new distance. Holding down shift just to lock that. Clicking again. That's in there now, so it's okay. And that's now exactly the distance of your viewport with a custom scale. Last thing here, with that viewport selected, in the object info palette you can set the visibilities. So for example you want to switch off or on. Let's turn off the channels there. Next label channel, click OK, and let's just switch those on. It's important to note that if you make a new class after you've built a viewport, that, that new class will automatically be switched off in any old viewports. So if you do want to see the information, you need to come back here and make sure you switch those classes on.